Hello YouTube, and welcome back to my channel. So as always, just like to say, really big thank you to my subscribers and my loyal viewers. It's really good that you take the time and trouble to watch the channel. And so, like I say, big thank you for that. So today's channel, today's channel, today's video is all about the Class 56. Moreover, it's all about the Cavalax Class 56. Um, just for the point of disclosure, this video is not actually sponsored by Cavalax. This is just my own personal views on the model. So recently I was at the show in High Wycombe, the Scale Forum show in High Wycombe. And I was flicking through the booklet about a couple of weeks before the show and I realised that Cavalax were going to be there. So all excited, I contacted them and asked whether or not we could actually have a play with the Class 56 on the layout. To which Team Cavalax said, yep, yep, no problem whatsoever. So that was fantastic. Unfortunately, the layout is a 1930s so sort of having a big orange machine riding around on there might not have been to everyone's cup of tea it certainly would have been to mine but um obviously you have to be a little bit mindful of these things so it was agreed that we was going to have a play on the sunday afternoon the silly hour as we might call it and i said to the owner that it was a really good cafe around the corner and it was only open for a couple of hours on sunday afternoon so when he went off to get his coffee i introduced the class 56 to the layout and what a beast absolutely fantastic loco pulls pulls like a train like you'd expect those bbas were quite actually quite heavy wagon there's a fair bit of lead underneath those and that was just pulling them around like no problems whatsoever i think the loco was proper in her element just also need to say that this loco is still not the finished version. Um, I was talking to Team Cavalax and they said that there was um, there were some alterations that they needed to make to the lighting board and there were still some alterations to the sound that they wanted as well. Now I personally think the sound was absolutely fantastic and I think that comes across well in the video. But um, it's I suppose from Cavalax's point of view, it's the small things that's going to make all the difference. So well done for Team Cavalax for that. I, I say I personally couldn't fault the loco. I've pre-ordered one myself, pre-ordered the large logo one, and I'm also going to pre-order another one. But I just can't make my mind up which one it was. So maybe if anyone's got any ideas, perhaps you drop them in the comments box to try and help me. It's got to be sort of like a 1980s theme one. But other than that, um, I, I mean, the blue one looks superb and the large load on, on sort of the Ralph Rake grey one looks superb as well. Or the coal one. I just can't make my mind up, that's all. The, again, the attention to detail that Cavalax have put into these is just fantastic. Even right down to, say, the, unfortunately, the, lighting, the lights are off on the, on the model. But the ones, the one he had upstairs, the DC rail one, there was all the different colour lights representing different time periods and bits and pieces. I say it's just the attention to detail is superb. Well, well done, Cavalax. What I do now is I'm going to leave this now, and I'm just going to let play out some music for the last little few pictures, and then we'll go over and you can actually see the model running. So any comments or any views, if you'd like to put them in the comments box, I really would be appreciative of that. I really look forward to the finished model coming through.
the front one's not got the weight on. The front one's not got the weight on. Thank you.